Hey there, Simplifiers. Thanksgiving is just a little bit away, so I want to walk you through what I do to prep myself to cook for Thanksgiving Day. Whether you're serving four or 40, it is a great idea to have a really solid plan in place for cooking large meals, whether it's Thanksgiving or any other sort of gathering you might be preparing large quantities of food for. In my adult life, I've prepared Thanksgiving dinner for anywhere from four adults to 27 people. And one time I even did it for 20 people in a very small one bedroom apartment in Chicago, which was a trip. But the thing that I have learned along the way is that I have to have a super solid plan in place if we are gonna eat anywhere near the time that I've said that dinner is going to be done. And every time I prepare Thanksgiving dinner, I learn something for the next time to tip myself off to help keep things timely and tasty. <laughs> the first thing that I recommend is jotting down all of your must-have menu items. For most people, that'll be things like turkey, mashed potatoes, rolls, stuffing, maybe your grandmother's sweet potatoes with the marshmallows on top or some sort of weird jello salad. That way you can see how much food you have that you must have. And it also helps you to see, okay, this casserole goes in the oven, this is made on the stove top, and it helps you to allot what needs to be done when based on where it will cook. Once you have made a list of all of your must have items, I recommend taking an inventory of other cooking devices that you have around your house that you might not have thought of. Thanksgiving typically includes a lot of casseroles or things that need to be baked in the oven, but with Pinterest and Google, you can find all sorts of awesome sides that have those great Thanksgiving flavors that can be made in things like the crock pot or your instant pot or an electric skillet, and that will help you to cut down on what needs to go into the oven after the turkey comes out and help you be able to get dinner on the table faster and easier. If you're like me and you think Thanksgiving dinner should be sidesgiving dinner and you really like those casserole style dishes, maybe look into investing in an electric turkey roaster or a turkey fryer to prepare your turkey and that way your oven will be freed up to bake all of those delicious casseroles. You also want to check out your must-have list and see if there's any balancing act that needs to be done. Do you have a lot of really heavy dishes that need to be balanced out with something like cranberry sauce or a salad that would be a little lighter? Or do you have a lot of carb-heavy dishes and maybe need to add a couple of veggie dishes in? By taking an inventory of what you need to make and what you have to cook it in, you can better assess how quickly you can get your meal to the table. Finally, once I have planned my menu and I see how I'm gonna cook all the different things, I come up with a schedule for the day. And I start with my schedule by working backwards from where we have planned to eat. So I personally would start with something like turkey, which would be the centerpiece of my personal Thanksgiving dinner. And let's say, for instance, we're cooking a 15 pound turkey and we wanna eat at three o'clock. I put three o'clock on my schedule. I know that that turkey will need to rest at least an hour, so I'm going to say it's gonna need to come out of the oven at two o'clock. Now, a 15 pound turkey that is unstuffed will need about 15 minutes per pound to cook, so roughly four hours to cook. That doesn't include the preparation, um, any seasoning or anything like that. That's just straight cooking time. So now I know that my oven will be tied up from 10 o'clock until two o'clock and anything that needs to be cooked in the oven will need to be prepared and ready to go at 2 p.m. This could include my rolls or any casseroles that need to go into the oven. Since it takes me about 20 minutes, maybe a half hour to put together each of the casseroles that I'll be putting into the oven, I'll wanna start prepping those casseroles at around one o'clock so that they are all set and ready to go into that nice warm oven once the turkey comes out. So what about you? What are your tips and tricks for getting Thanksgiving dinner on the table? Or have I inspired you that maybe not this year, but some year you wanna tackle serving that great Thanksgiving feast in your home? Please comment below and let me know what you think about my method or if you have any tweaks that you think would help me along the way. Thanks so much for watching. Happy Thanksgiving to everybody out there and I will see you next time on Organizing with Simple Solutions.